What's up, y'all? Drill88 here, and welcome back to Samurai Jack Season 5 Episodic Vlogs, Episode 6. Oh my gosh, this episode has all the characters in it. And oh my gosh, it's just fantastic. Let's go ahead and jump into this. We see, um, the start, we see Ashi looking for Jack. She's on this totally impossible that this thing is actually flying blimp. And she runs into two of the creatures. Now, I didn't, I forgot that they could talk, but way back in one of the earlier seasons, there are these mammothy looking creatures that are being controlled by these monkeys that were like keeping them as slaves. And Jack freed them. So she runs to them. They, she, they retell the story, send her on her way. Um, Scaramouche is still alive, by the way. He's, um, just, just ahead, hopping his way along, trying to, uh, make his way to Aku to give him the big news that Jack lost his sword. Um, then we come to Ashi in the forest. These big skitterbug looking things are running away. And we see the three archers! The three archers from whenever, um, Jack was doing like the, uh, the blind archer, the blind archer, the, that episode where, uh, the, they were guarding a portal, um, we see them, and they recount the story, and they've got a whole village now dedicated to Jack, and he's got a big statue, and it is so awesome, and it's just, like, showing, you know, how much Jack has done, and how, and the good that he's done over the years. Um, uh, Scaramouche is on his way, there's a funny little, uh, moment where he's trying to get onto a ship, and just keeps getting denied, Every time he does something, and a very funny, a very, very funny uh, moment with one of the passengers and him. I am not going to say what it is. Just watch the episode. You'll know it when you see it. Uh, so on the ship, then moving back, Ashi is um back in the woods. She's looking, and we see the rave group. The rave group with um acoustic um before, and we see what I'm guessing is the girl who um Jack saved in that episode. But we see the whole, um, we see the whole mosh pit rave party people. They're all there. They're all like, you know, pumped up for Jack. They're all ready to stand by him should anything come. It's awesome. Really, really good. Um, let's see what else was next. Uh, we then see, um, Ashi in the jungle and she sees a water pit and there's this very, very disturbing looking, uh, very disturbing looking flashback concerning her and her black body armor. Turns out it was some sort of a dark, I don't know, I'm guessing it was cinders, burning cinders or something that's burnt into her body. So um, after that very harrowing, disturbing, honestly, flashback, she, uh, she jumps in, she scrubs it all off. She gets a new uh, leafy druidic almost outfit, <laughs> which is very funny. Um, meanwhile, back on the boat. Scaramouche is uh, trying to get a phone call to Aku. It goes very sadly for him. And I swear one of these dogs in this scene look like, looks like Astro from the Jetsons. But I don't know if that was on purpose or there are just dogs out there that look like Astro. Um, back to Ashi. She's still looking for Jack. Comes across this bar with all these big looking thug guys in it. And we see the samurai that, uh, the dude with the green glasses that Jack beat up before. He's an old man now. He's, uh, looking over the bar. It's, uh, th 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 that scene is hilarious as well. Recounts their battle. Um, Ashi leaves. And this, what I'm getting, I don't know, a dark looking, uh, mini Jawa looking dude. Is, uh, basically says, are you his friend? And follow that path. She follows the path and comes up with what looks to be this graveyard of sorts. And you see Jack. Jack's there. But there's a sword in front of him. Then all of a sudden, these ghosts rise out of the graves. And they're, like, there to witness. And they, Jack's about to commit Sepku! Jack's about to do the suicide bid for his dishonor! And, oh my gosh, I, how she tries to speak up. Big ghosty dude just starts wailing on her. She keeps trying to speak to Jack, trying to tell him, you've done so much good. You've helped so many people. You've helped me. And just, oh my gosh, this scene. So impactful. This episode was fantastic. I don't have a whole lot to say other than watch the freaking episode. It is great. Oh, I, I, I watched it like twice now. It is phenomenal. Easily one of my favorite of the season so far. But I, I'm a sucker for nostalgia. I'm a sucker for seeing, like, callbacks to previous episodes and stuff like that. Uh, whew. 
Oh, it is good. It is real good. But anyway, that is, um, oh, oh, and the episode ends with Jack not committing Sepku, and he says, well, it's time to find my sword. We're going on a hunting quest! We're gonna get to see what had happened! Oh my gosh, I'm guessing the green warrior from before was like a, his guilt made manifest? Or the spirit of dishonor that was falling? I don't know. But oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. It was so cool. So, uh, I really enjoy this episode. Go watch it. It's, it's great. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.